Hey everybody, it's May 30th, Tuesday. You're here at the Chaos Community Weekly Call slash Weekly Sync slash Weekly Hangout. I think I've seen those all three named in different places. So it's all the same thing. You're here at the Chaos Community Weekly Call. Um, we have a really light group. We have a light agenda as well. So that works out great. So I, um, I'm assuming you all will get some time back, which would be great for everybody. And take a little nap or something. Um, here's the agenda. If you have not added your name, please do so. Tell us how you're doing. What is this emoji? What is that? Melting? Just melting, yes. Yeah, same here. It's really <laughs> hot here. I have a I do these art shows, you know, with my photography, and I have a show this weekend, and it is gonna be in the 90s every single day. So yes not actually looking forward to that. <laughs> They're fun when the weather's great, but yeah, when it's that hot, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fun to be outside for literally like 15 hours or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, it'll be good. It's like being in a sauna. I'll come back like 10 pounds lighter. It'll be amazing. Okay. Anyway, um, we can go on. The first item, I told Ruth I would announce this if she was not able to make it, which I don't see her here today. So um, we are very, very, very excited to say that Justin Flory from the Fedora community is going to be the Chaos Con Africa keynote. And um, Justin's going to be there in person. So there was a lot of uh, logistical things to get in there to get him to Nigeria. So um, we're super, super excited about that. And just as a reminder, it is happening on June 14th and they are streaming it. Um, we should be posting the schedule in the next few days. Um, so stay tuned for that. And hopefully we'll have details on how to join um, that uh, virtually if you're interested in that. So yeah, so congratulations to Justin. I'm so happy this worked out. Justin is amazing and he's a fantastic, fantastic speaker. So that's going to be a really, really great, um, great keynote, I know. Does anybody have questions about ChaosCon Africa? I will do my best to answer. <laughs> I don't know if I have all the details, but I will do my best. Nope. Okay. All right. Moving on to number two. Um, we renamed office hours to newcomer hangout uh, at the end of last week, um, just to kind of make it a little more uh, newcomer friendly. And we weren't sure if the words office hours really translated um, for others who maybe aren't in like the university space. So um, it's now called newcomer hangout. I know we mentioned office hours in a lot of places. So I was just going to kind of put this out to the community to kind of help us flag those um, where the, that change needs to be made. And if you feel comfortable making a PR, that would be also great. So feel free to help us do that. I feel like that's something that um, even if you're new to the chaos community, that's something that you could help with. Um, I'm also going to post this in the newcomer channel as well. So um, yeah, that would be great. Does anybody have questions about that or why we are renaming it or like the purpose of it really hasn't changed. It's still a place where um, newcomers can come to connect with each other and ask questions about chaos um, and uh, learn about the community a little more. So yeah. This morning we had um, like five people there. It was great. It was wonderful. We had a good time. Actually six. Yeah, it was great. So, and if you're um, if you're a person that's been in the chaos community for a while, you're also welcome to join those if you want to meet some newcomers and, and hang out with everybody. You don't have to, obviously. It's just a fun little hour or so, and it um, there's no agenda. You can come and go as you please. But if you have an open space on your calendar and you would like to pop in and help answer questions, absolutely, hundred percent welcome to do that. All right, I'm going to move on. <laughs> Y'all are so quiet today. I love it. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll move on. Um, we have combined the DEI badging meeting, which was a biweekly meeting happening on Wednesday mornings for US Central. Um, and then a little uh, like an hour or so later, we would have the DEI working group, 
which there was a lot of overlap between the two meetings. Um, what we're going to do instead is do kind of like we do in this meeting when we are planning for a chaos con where we will take like the first 30 minutes for the general agenda and then the last 20 minutes for chaos con planning. We're going to do that kind of model with our DEI working group. So the first 30 minutes are going to be DEI working group related. So things like metric development, um, any other kind of DEI announcement type things. Um, and then the last 20 are going to be on DEI badging, and that will be event and project badging as well. And one last meeting on a calendar, which is always so welcome, such a joy. <laughs> I love it. Uh, any questions about this change? So quiet. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just, <laughs> we're literally going to be done with this in like 10 minutes. Oh, I see something in chat. Okay. Oh, Sophia just says makes sense. All right. It does. Okay. Um, here is another kind of update from the DEI working group. We have, or and common also, we are updating an old metric that was just called event location. And we're going to be updating it to event location equity. This has been approved by the common working group. So I just wanted to let everybody know we do have a new metric or an updated old metric. And it basically just looks to see if the um, if, a, if a project is hosting multiple events, if those events happen in a location in locations that are, you know, equitably distributed for their community members. So if you are interested in looking at this metric, um, I think it's in the process of getting uh, PR to be published. So it's pretty, pretty well set. But of course, as always, you're welcome to offer some suggestions if you see anything that looks funky. And the link is right here if you want to look at that. Okay, I'm moving on. If nobody has questions or comments about that, I, I feel like I'm rushing through this. I want to make sure everyone has time to to speak up. Okay, we will move on. Um, I just want to let people know the app ecosystem group is taking the summer break in July and August, so there will be no meetings for them during that time. So if that's a group you are interested in joining, um, you're going to have to do it in June or September because they will not be around. Or you can connect with them async. I think they're just in... Actually, I don't know what their uh, Slack is. I would have to look. But they do, um, they do take breaks from time to time. So they are taking a July and August break. Um, all right, next item. I see Sophia added feedback to templates. Turn it over to you, Sophia. Yeah, so this was in regards to the metrics model template. Um, we as the risk working group finally have picked it up and started looking at how we might work on a metrics model for risk. Um, and there were some comments and feedback around the general template itself, and I didn't know where the best place to put that would be, either in the doc itself or maybe if you are in the project. I was just kind of curious what's the best way to, to socialize that. And like, I, it's also like the questions, I don't want to break the template if, they're, if this is sort of what we're standardizing on. It's just like wondering how best to, to offer that feedback. I would suggest uh, in the metric model working group, we can create an issue over there or like bring it to their knowledge in their meeting. Okay. Is this, so that go in like meeting notes or is, or is there? Yeah, there are, there are meeting notes over there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can find that link for you, Sophia. Um, I, I am trying to. There we go. Uh, I'll just drop them in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, in the chat, and I'll just Thank put them you. in here. And I'll add that to our to dos from our last meeting. Um, we also didn't have anyone with the chaos passcode, so our meeting was not recorded, but we did take notes, and we included our five-minute summary. 
<laughs> just in case, even though we didn't have a recording. Um, but I wonder if we, it was a, a last minute shot on a plane situation. So we just didn't have anyone to log in. So we should remedy that um, and give, uh, do you usually run those if Sean is not around, Sophia? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to put a quick action item for me to share the uh, uh, chaos Zoom password. Yeah, it's really good to have a, um, a backup to, you know, and that way you can get in. And, and if it, there's any, I mean, not that this happens, I think it's happened once in the whole years, but um, in all of our meetings, but if there are any bad actors, if you're logged in as the admin, then you can with them as needed, which I don't know that you can if you're not. So yeah, um, we'll make sure you have that. It's just in LastPass. I don't know if you have LastPass, but we have a shared thing. We'll figure it out. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's it. Look at that. What else is on your minds for the five of us who are here today? I have a, a general thought. Yeah, what's that? Um, sort of in terms of chaos metrics being generally focused on the community and the project. Um, and I've been in a lot more conversations lately on usage of a project and understanding how to understand usage. And this has come up in some of some of the OSPO working group discussions and also like mod like a couple of proposed metrics around awareness and influence that are sort of inferring usage characteristics. Um, but there's a sort of broader question of usage and also telemetry of usage um, that's coming up in open source um, in a number of places in the community. And I was just kind of curious what this group's thoughts were on, is that something that we as chaos would eventually either move into or consider looking at in terms of helping to provide more clarity on those kinds of metrics, or do we want to keep it focused on um, out, outside of that arena? Because I do feel like that's a kind of a different arm of metrics and understanding um, usage characteristics. Like I think it sort of like typically gets folded into sort of logging and telemetry versus operational metrics. Um, but there is some blending, and I'm kind of just curious to hear your thoughts. Uh, so I actually I have a comment about that uh, so the uh, the working group that that uh, that was looking at metrics of that sort was actually the value working group which which no longer exists uh, and I will say uh, so I, I spent some time in that group uh, those types of metrics are they are kind of difficult uh, so the 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 metrics work or the value working group had, Kind of considerable trouble uh, deciding which ones to go after, which ones were important uh, in that process. So, uh, so a lot of those usage metrics, kind of, uh, most of them are like popularity metrics, right? Uh, so, uh, so that's that's the comment I have. If uh, going forward, I, I I think there's definitely space in chaos for it. Uh, where that conversation occurs, uh, as far as actual metrics definition goes, uh, at this point, the I think the the common working group, the DEI working group, and the risk working group are probably the only working groups that will actively define metrics. So maybe common could uh, define those metrics, and we could use the maybe the OSPO working group as the uh, place to propose those metrics. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of happening on. That's really good background. So I appreciate you sharing that as someone who was not in the, the value working group meetings, because <laughs> it is coming up again. Um, and I feel like it's, it's something we can't avoid entirely. Um, and I know Georg and I had put some thought into it last year, um, wrote a blog about it, but I know that we didn't actually like propose anything official. And so I, I see that coming up again in, in the also working group, to your point, um, around more of like, what types of metrics are you sending? How are they used? Um, and that is more focused on like usage proxy, usage proxy versus usage characteristic, but there's some blending there. Um, so that's good to know. I appreciate that. And I think that is that is what's happening. So I thank you for the history of that. By the way, from uh, 
from kind of a metrics definition standpoint, uh, uh, I'm happy to try to help define any metric that comes up. Uh, and I think, but right right now, I think the the way that we've kind of fallen into uh, fallen into deciding which ones to define are it it is coming from those uh, conversations with those context groups. I think so. The uh, and I think that was the difficulty that value had figuring out which which pot which potential metrics would be important. So I I, de uh, I think identification of that that metric is the probably the most important step, and then the the definition is is probably fairly easy after that. So maybe we could add that as an agenda item to the next OSPO group uh, to uh, maybe brainstorm a few potential metrics around that. Sure. Um, yeah, it kind of came up again already. So I think it, it would make sense to, to resurface it. Do we have a meeting? I think we do have a meeting this week. So I can post it on the agenda. Yep, we have a meeting, I think. All right, cool. That sounds good. Uh, does somebody want to take this action item to do that? Just so we don't forget. I feel like Don usually calls for agenda items like a day or two before. But I feel like if I shove it in the notes doc now, it'll just be there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to put your name then. <laughs> Okay, what do you else? Need, oh, go ahead, Manan. Do you need the link to the OSPO, Sophia, to put the minutes over there? I think I found it. Okay. All right, boom, done. Look at all this we got done today. In 21 minutes, amazing. What, uh, anything else? What else do we need to talk about? I hear silence from the, from the crowd, so. Um, yeah, I mean, if nobody, <laughs> nobody has anything else and nobody has any objection, I am more than happy to stop this meeting at, well, my time, 12.22, 22 past the hour. Um, is that okay with everybody? I don't want to rush or, you know. I have a topic. Yeah, I have a topic for next week. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, let's start an agenda. Um, mostly just like I'd be curious to know if anyone from the chaos community is planning to attend FOSSE. Um, just I'm trying to figure out if I should go to this show or not and understanding who's going to be there and what kinds of conversations might happen. Like, change that thought process. So I was yeah. kind of curious if folks are planning to go. Because I know it's like a, it's a brand new conference, so I don't really know what to expect from it at all. Um, I don't know if others have thoughts on that. What's the yeah. show? Fossey, F-O-S-S-Y. It's in Portland in July. They're trying uh, to be a North America Fossum. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's hard it to talk, talk. Um, but I don't know when they announce. Um, I was going to actually try to do a chaos booth there, so I reached out to them to see what the deal was, because um, we've never had a chaos booth, and I don't know, I was thinking about that at the last conference I was at, when I was at scale, I was like, oh, we need a chaos booth, so yeah, I was thinking about doing that, but I need to reach out to them again, I guess. Ildico submitted a talk also. Ildico, do you know when they're going to release the schedule? I don't know, I was wondering about that too, but I couldn't find any information. Yeah, I don't know either, so. Well, yeah, I'm up in Seattle, so I thought to cruise down and check it out. It's yeah. the You're same, in Seattle, okay. Yeah, it's the same week as SciPy, so there might be some content uh, for some folks. Yeah, yeah. where's but, that, do you know? Is that nearby? Austin, Texas, oh. it is not nearby. <laughs> and I was hoping, because it's a whole week, like maybe there's possibility of going to both, but. 
it doesn't look like it. Um, mm -hmm. They're co-locating Sustain with the, the day before they're having an event. Um, we'll see. Yeah, that's interesting. I didn't know that. I don't want to be in Austin in July. <laughs> <laughs> totally fair it's a good point that is totally fair i i can see that logic 100 yeah. percent. i have been in austin during a snowstorm it was i think it was it might not was an open i don't remember what conference it was it might have been a good time and then there was a snowstorm and like it took me like five extra hours to get out because they had one working the icer because it's austin so i would say also don't go there in winter <laughs> <laughs> just avoid it all together <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you don't really expect that when you're going to be in Texas in the winter oh. and they're going to have a snowstorm and get you snowed in. <laughs> Maybe New York, like that's a thing. But yeah, it can't be. Uh, but at least here you can like hop on a train, like you can still get out. Yeah, <laughs> they're prepared at least. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, we'll ask again next week if there's a bigger crowd here, which I suspect there will be. I think people, like Kevin said earlier, are probably still on vacation or um, just traveling or some good stuff, so. Uh, all right, well, we will see you all next week. Thanks again, everybody, and um, have a great rest of your day. Bye. Bye. Have a good day.